Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a full face of expired makeup, which is essentially just a full face of my regular makeup because all my makeup's expired. However, there are some things I'm using that are extremely old. Like I didn't even know I still had them. I thought that when I did my decluttering video, I got rid of these, but apparently I didn't. I might've just kept them for this video, or maybe it was just like a nostalgic thing that I didn't get rid of. But anyway, we are going to be using some makeup. Not all of this is that old, but like some of these things are like six years old. I know my skin's probably gonna break out after this video, but it'll be worth it because I've been wanting to do more videos where I'm just using stuff I already have rather than having to go out and buy a bunch of makeup. I know there's some new things that are coming out that I'm like, ooh, I really wanna try that. Like that Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. I definitely wanna try that, but I'm also kind of broke. So it's like, fuck it. I'm just gonna wait to see what everyone else thinks about it. And then I'll get whatever everyone says is good. Is that what you guys do? That's what I do. I let the rich beauty gurus tell me if something's good before I spend my own money and buy it. Anyway, I know I have a tendency to ramble during the intros of my videos, so let's just get into it. Okay, so what are we gonna start with? Oh, okay, I put something out here that was specifically to start with. By the way, I am wearing a robe. This is not like an outfit that I chose. Not that like there's anything against this kind of floral print, but. I would not choose this as a shirt to wear. This is like a muumu. I got in a FabFitFun. I don't even know when. And I like to wear it when I'm doing my makeup. And also when I just, I don't know, I just like to wear robes. So I felt like wearing one today. I didn't need to explain that, but I did anyway, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna start with something that is genuinely so old. <laughs> I cannot remember when I got this. This might've been as old as high school. I graduated in 2011. It's definitely a little concerning on the eyes. It has all bunched up here, turned a lot more yellow than it should be. Just dropped on my table, but it is still soft to the touch. Surprisingly, it's not hard. Feels like I just got it. So I'm gonna, ex oh, I didn't even tell you what this is. This is the Mint Juleps Lip Exfoliator from Lush. I wish I had a date on it, does it? I'm not gonna lie, I think this might not be my high school one. Still tastes good too. I should not eat that. I've only had two of these in my life. So either this is the one from high school or this is the one that I got way before my son was born and he just turned three. <laughs> this is at least four to five years old. I am gonna say that. And honestly, it's still really good. It works just the same. These are not just a little bit expired, okay? These things should be illegal. I should not be allowed to use this. To follow up that lip scrub, I'm gonna use this insanely expired lip balm from Bite. This is their Agave Lip Balm. This is the one, the formula that everyone used to be obsessed with and then they changed it and people got upset. This is a minimum of two years old, but I always hated this. Everyone loved this, I hated it. It looks disgusting. The reason I never liked this is it's so thick, even when I just got it. I mean, I know it's so old, but it's so thick to the point that by the time you go to put on your lipstick, it's still thick as fuck. And then you're putting on your lipstick and it's all sliding all over the place. I don't know, I don't really like this, but I'm using that because it's the oldest lip balm that I have. Does anyone else feel like you just don't like most of the things that people love and then the things you love are the things that everyone else hates. Every time I really like a makeup item and I go to check the reviews, everybody fucking hates it. I don't know why, but anyway, okay, moving on. I have a few primers to put on, but I'm going to start with my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I got this when I was living in Miami. I'm pretty sure this is around three years old. Might be a little less, might be like two. Two years old. Once we start getting into the makeup items, it has, I don't know if you guys knew this, but it has like a little jar and on that jar, it says a number. So mine says 24 M, which means this expires after 24 months, which is two years. So this actually surprisingly, even though I've had this for a long time, might only be around a year expired. Still smells good. I said this in my Spanish video, but if something still smells good, I'm going to use it. Okay, so if you have a problem with that, I don't know what to tell you. Like if something smells disgusting, I'll get rid of it. But that's why I still have all this expired makeup is because I don't know, it's still fine if it smells good. And this thing was like $60. I used to like it a lot more than I do now. I got this because it was like during the time where every influencer was talking about it. The reason I don't use it anymore is just because it's just a really moisturizing moisturizer. That's really all it is. It's like a heavy, almost sticky, a little greasy, moisturizer so i don't really use it because i just put on my regular moisturizer before i put on my makeup every day and it does the same thing my hair has been atrocious in my videos lately nothing worse than my fat fit fun video oh my god when i was editing that and i saw my hair 
I wanted to cry. Sometimes I just don't realize until I import the footage. Anyway, the next primer I'm gonna go in with is the J1 Red Jelly Pack. I'm scared to use this one. I got this because Kathleen talked about it in a favorites video forever ago. And this has a 12 month shelf life. I definitely got it over a year ago, so it's definitely expired. But the reason I'm scared, oh, there was a hair on it. <laughs> the reason I'm scared to use this is because this broke me out like crazy. This is very similar to the Milk Hydro Grip Primer or any of those gripping primers. By the way, I feel like I'm talking so much, but I feel like I have so much to say. I tried the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. I think that's what it's called. And it is definitely a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And it's only $10. So if you're someone that likes the Hydro Grip Primer, you'll definitely like the e.l.f. Jelly Pop one. But this is literally the same thing. It's like a gripping, sticky primer. I really like what those primers do for my skin. Like, when I put on my makeup, but that one broke me out big time. Surprisingly, the milk one did not break me out and the elf one hasn't so far, so I don't know. On top of that, I know I'm using three primers, but usually I do anyway. I use a moisturizer, then I use a gripping primer, and then sometimes I'll put a pore filling one on top of that. Most of the time I'll leave it at the gripping primer to be honest, but I'm gonna throw it back to, I don't even know what year. Had to have been like 2014 when I started using this. This is the Benefit Porefessional Primer. This is a pore filling primer, obviously, as the name suggests. And by the way, that one's super expired. Has to be at least four years old. I know, I decluttered my makeup and somehow those still made it to my house in Georgia in 2020. It's not that I don't like the professional primer. I just, as time went on in life, and I matured and I understood what I liked more. I feel like when I first started makeup, I just liked everything because I was like, ooh, makeup. But now that so many different products have come out, my skin has changed so much, like so many different factors have changed. I've realized that these type of primers, not pore filling primers in general, because I like some pore filling primers, but the ones that are like this, that are so silicone based, I'm not a huge fan of. It's just something about it. It's not like spectacular. It doesn't do anything amazing this one will blur your pores when i'm putting on the primer but when i put on my foundation i don't really notice a big difference with it or without it so i'm not crazy about those primers for eyeshadow primer i'm going to use the nars tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base i got this from kathleen when i was still living in kendall so that was definitely at least two years ago but i don't know because i got it from her and she probably had it for a hot minute so this thing is probably like three years old at least what's the shelf life on this bad boy 12 months. Ooh, another hair. Delicious. A hair that's been marinating in there for two years. Gotta love it. Ooh, I forget that I really like this. I know that I always, always use my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden, but I have to be honest, I it's not that I love that one so much. It's that eyeshadow primer is just not something I get excited about. Like I don't go out seeking eyeshadow primers. I feel like I said that on this channel before, but yeah, I just don't. It's not something that I'm like, ooh, gotta go looking for the new launches of eyeshadow primer. So P. Louise base, I ordered it wrong and I got a super, super white one. I got the literal lightest shade that they have and it's like white. And I don't use that for every day because it's just, it's way too bright for my skin and for like an everyday eyeshadow look. However, actually fun fact, I saw that Alamad Cosmetics came out with an eyeshadow primer and I definitely want to try that one. That's like the first time I've ever been excited for an eyeshadow primer. So I'll let you guys know. I have to order it still. I can't. I keep forgetting. My camera just died and I have no idea what I was talking about. So let's just move on. I am going to be using an eyeshadow palette that brings me back. Oh my God, does it bring me back. I got this eyeshadow palette, I believe in around 2014 because I remember using this in the Vine days. Like this was all I wore when I was on Vine. When I did my decluttering for my makeup, I did genuinely think about getting rid of this, but this is really one of the first eyeshadow palettes I ever remember having. So. I'm gonna be using the Vegas Nay Stardust palette that she did with Too Faced. As you can see, I used the shit out of this. Mainly this color, this color, and this color. Those were like the three main, oh no, and this one as well. But this was that bitch for me. This was like, I thought this was the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, I'm gonna keep using this eyeshadow palette and just talking to you guys because I feel like I wanna do a life update, but I wanna do it on this channel because I don't know. This channel is honestly like my safe space. I feel way more comfortable on here. Far less people know about this channel than my other channel. And that makes me just feel a little bit more comfortable knowing that people that don't like me probably are not watching this video. Or maybe they are, I don't know, but whatever. Anyway, life. Life has been so 
shitty. <laughs> I have had such a difficult time. And honestly, I'm going to speak about it now because I'm feeling better. I didn't want to come on here. I remember I tried to film, I want to say like a week ago and I was feeling so down and I just felt so sad about the idea of filming because I didn't want to make you guys sad. I feel like I don't want to watch a YouTube video of someone who's like just sad the whole time because I'm sad all the time. A lot of the time. I don't want to say all the time. But I guess my point is I just didn't want to bring you guys down. I know that a lot of you guys watch YouTube to escape. I watch YouTube to escape. I watch TikTok to escape. I try to like just watch things that keep my mind off of the horrible things happening in this world. So I didn't want to like bring you guys down. However, I do just want to be a little bit more open with you guys on this channel. So I just want to update you on my life, I guess. But these past few months have been really, really overwhelming and really difficult. I don't want to get too into it because I don't want to bring up anything really online um but when you go through something in life that's traumatic and then you go like years and years and years and you think oh I healed from that like yes that was traumatic but I'm healed completely I don't cry about it anymore I don't think about that horrible thing that happened to me too often I think about it but not every day like I used to you start feeling like oh my god I healed from this trauma and then when something happens that triggers that trauma and brings everything back up and you just feel like if it just happened yesterday all over again to you that feeling is very inexplicable but that happened to me in um June and it was absolutely horrifying it was something that made me feel so week just really put me in a place where I was like damn I haven't healed from shit what have I been doing all these years like I guess I haven't dealt with this trauma and all this shit anyway it was horrible and I have spent the last few months trying to recover that's what I've been doing and I fell into a pretty bad depression these eyeshadows are blending like shit anyway whatever not important I let you guys know on my Spanish video that I was you know experiencing depression and I was finally trying to get out of it now and trying to feel like myself again and you guys were really wonderful and I thank you for your messages and the things that you guys said you guys are always amazing but I guess what I'm trying to say is I've been really struggling and I've been trying to figure out ways to get back I know that I'm always not posting I know that's like what everyone expects of me now and when I moved here in May and I finally got my room and my office set up I was like oh my god I'm so excited to film and then everything kind of came crashing down in June like I just said everything turned to shit I no longer was feeling like doing anything and I didn't want to come on here being a bummer that's essentially you know why I've been gone and then to top it all off this last month three of my immediate family members not that I live with but that are my I don't want to say exactly who in my family but three of my immediate family members got COVID and I was really worried and that was just a really shit time where I was like fuck this world <laughs> like fuck everything going on I'm so upset and during that time my family dog Max who was 12 and a half we had to put him to sleep and I've never been there when an animal was being put to sleep and I held him while it was happening and it was like horrendous. And that happened last Tuesday. Like, oh, this year fucking sucks. <laughs> Straight up, this year sucks. Well, not all of this year. I actually, you know, my, for contrast and for some good news, my best friend who has struggled with her mental health for many, many years, this has been one of the best years of her life. She got help. She's doing amazing. She's just thriving this year. And honestly, watching her thrive as much as she is and you know, and work and just everything is really carrying me <laughs> through this year because I'm like, okay, there's still beautiful things because sometimes right now it just feels like, oh my God, everything is bad and everything that's happening is bad and it's not. It's just been really overwhelming. So that's why I've been gone. You see why I don't want to talk about it? This is so depressing. Holy crap. Life is life. And honestly, I know a lot of us are struggling right now. I think that people that struggled with depression and anxiety before this pandemic are probably super struggling right now because being confined to your house, not being able to see your family um, in important moments, and especially like if they get sick, like when my immediate family members got sick, I wanted to go running. I wanted to go and help. They couldn't even make a meal for themselves. Like they were really, really struggling and I couldn't go. And so there's so many things right now that are just kind of affecting all of us, but I've always been home. Like I work from home. However, I am realizing now that even though I thought I had no life, I did do things. Like I would go, I don't know, to the movies once a month and that felt really nice and felt like I did something. Like, you know what I mean? Not having any of that, it's like, how much more of this can we take? So yeah, that's been my struggle. That's been why I haven't really been posting much. Like 
not the only reason. Obviously, I've sucked with posting far before this pandemic. Like, I recognize that, obviously. But it's definitely been a factor in these last few months because when I moved here and I told you guys that I was excited to post, I wasn't lying. Like, I genuinely was and I am. It's just my goodness. Like, can everything relax for two seconds? I did this on my Facebook and it actually brought a lot of happiness um, to my day. But if you guys had anything good happen to you this year, can you please share in the comments? Just let us know what happened that was positive for you in 2020. Good experiences, good vibes. I personally don't have any to share, but if you have some, I would love that. Actually, my move here to Georgia was a good thing, except the fact that it happened during the pandemic made it all very chaotic and stressful. So that's why I don't really add that to that list, but we are really happy in Georgia. I mean, we haven't done anything. Like I have been to a creek, does that count? Really nothing happened, but you know, I went to a creek once and I saw the creek and then I left. So I know uh, it has taken me a lot to blend these eyeshadows to where I'm even remotely happy with it. My goodness. I'm gonna go in with the colors Showgirl and Golden Nugget. Showgirl was the color I used all the time. I'm gonna start with this one actually, even though it's weird that this used to be one of my favorite colors on my lid because it's a bronze color. I feel like it's so dark. Yeah, it is so dark. It's not even pigmented. Is it not pigmented because it's a million years old? Or has it always been not this pigmented? This does not look cute. I think that when I'm done with this video, I'm gonna have to put some glitter or something on. This is horrendous. I have to film after this, so I have to make this makeup work, but that is not cute. You know what? I'm gonna grab my glitter because like I said, I, I have to film after this. So I'm just gonna put a little something something on top. It's not expired. Actually, it might be. Let me check. I'm gonna use a little bit of the eye luster thing from Siat London. Siate? I'm not really sure how to say the brand name, but it's just that eyeshadow with the bunch of glitters that I love and I use pretty much every day. I have gotten to the point where I can't really do eyeshadow without glitter anymore. It's just not gonna happen. Anyway, in order to combat all of the stuff that's been going on in life, I have recently made a decision. This is not a permanent decision, obviously, but I'm gonna slow down on drinking. I wasn't drinking that much, but anytime I did, oh my god, the anxiety was real. Have you guys ever heard that term? Anxiety? I heard it on TikTok. It's when you drink and usually you're fine when you're drinking that night and then the next morning you wake up and you have a shit ton of anxiety due to the alcohol. By the way, I'm gonna use a little bit of my highlight that I'm gonna use later from the Sugar Peach Palette. I got this the same time I got that NARS eyeshadow primer, so this is probably two to three years old. But I'm just gonna mix like these two colors and put it on top of that glitter because the colors I used for my lid, those were a joke and did nothing. Anyway, so I get a lot of anxiety. I will drink have a good time, you know, just chilling on a Friday night. Everything's fine. And then the next morning I wake up and I feel horrible. So I've gone a decent amount of time now without drinking at all. And I'm starting to feel a lot better. It's not that I'm never gonna drink. I mean, let's be honest, but I guess I just never realized how much anxiety I got from drinking or maybe I was in denial of it. Who knows? I'm gonna keep talking, but first I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation. This was my favorite foundation forever. This was my favorite foundation for like over a year and I have not used this in forever. This is super expired. This is the same one I used to use years ago. It has an 18 month shelf life. So this is roughly probably around two years old. That's not that bad. And this is not expired, but I just use oils when I do my foundations now. Almost every foundation, even the ones that are hydrating or whatever, they look a little bit dry on my skin and cakey. So what I do is I usually put like two pumps of a foundation. No probably three of this one, this was like a small pump. And then I put one drop of any face oil. And I feel like it makes a big difference on how well the foundation applies. Ooh, this is a little bit orangey. Let's see if it's my color. Oh yeah, well, not really, but that's fine. I am really pale. I really do need just a bit of sunlight. This is applying really nice though. I might fall back in love with this foundation. I remember it being a good amount of coverage, but natural enough looking that it was great for like every day. But yeah, I don't know if it's all because of the drinking thing, but I do feel better and that's why I'm filming now because normally my track record is like two videos at a time. Like I can only get out two videos and then I quit. You guys would freak out if you lived in my brain for a day and saw the anxiety that I put myself through to get a video to go public. I love filming videos. I even love editing. I mean, that's what I do for a living when I'm not, you know, YouTubing, but for some reason, <laughs> the things I tell myself before a video goes live, you guys would not last a day in here. Anyway, oh my God, I'm tasting the peach. I forgot that was a thing. Hello, beautiful. 
seriously wow my skin looks spectacular this went on so nicely it has a really decent amount of coverage it's not full coverage but i also added the oil which thins it out a little bit but it just looks so natural my goodness i love it you can definitely still see like my acne though so now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm sure these are expired, but not as expired as my other things, even though this Tarte Shape Tape looks crusty as hell. But I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape and my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I like to use the Shape Tape for under my eyes and then the Born This Way around the rest of my face, just cause it's a little bit darker, not really because of the formula. Although I do like the Tarte Shape Tape a little bit more for under my eye, but anyway. Okay, to set my eyes, I'm gonna use this powder that I used to be obsessed with. I can't believe I even still have more because why didn't, why didn't I use it? This is the Peach Perfect Loose Powder. I remember loving this. I have bought this at least like four times. It's super expired. I haven't used it in definitely over a year. I'm gonna first set my under eyes with that. This definitely gives you that peach flavor. Oh, there it is. This is like super light you can even tell when you're looking at it in the cap like it's so thin as if it's been sifted a million times and then i'm gonna use this milani what is this conceal and perfect shine proof powder to do the same thing that i usually do with my aqua assurance powder which is just pack it onto any areas that might need a little bit more coverage okay that milani powder i started to put it all over my face and it looked horrible so i need to go in with my jcat powder to save the day because this can pretty much fix any mistake normally this is the point where i would put my morphe continuous setting mist but that's not expired, I just got it not that long ago. I'm gonna use this definitely expired spray. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this for now and then I'm gonna put more later. I actually really like that spray. Although, uh-oh, starting to smell like a fart. Um. Anyways, I know I said that if something doesn't smell good, I won't use it, but that's the only expired setting spray I have. Perhaps I need a new one. I do like that formula. It does look really pretty. This is a random question, but do any of you guys use Facebook still? I only go on there for Facebook Marketplace normally. And then every time I go on there, I see some horrendous crap that I need to comment on and start debating with someone about. It is single-handedly the most toxic app, in my opinion, or like social media platform Ever. In every post people are fighting, people are fighting with their aunts and uncles and cousins and mothers, like everyone's just airing out all their shit, which is super entertaining to watch, but is really sad. And I get why they're fighting because people say some genuinely horrendous crap on Facebook. I feel like it's the app where, I don't wanna say the word boomers, but boomers go to talk shit. Anyway, I go on there for Facebook Marketplace because I've been getting more into like DIYs and doing things like that. But oh my God, the things I see on there. And it's not even just political things. People air out way too much shit on there. People really are just like exposing their family members and shit. It is crazy. I hate it, but I love it. I can't stay off of it. For bronzer, I mean, just looking at this, you can tell how old this shit is. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in light to medium. This was my first, I wanna say first, ever like bronzer contour palette. And I'm a little scared because I haven't used this in so long. So I know it's super expired. I'm gonna use just this shade on the right because these two are a little gray looking. And like I said, I have to film after this video. So I do not wanna look gray. Okay, that was a bit more pigmented than I had anticipated, but I guess I'll just blend when I'm done. And then I am gonna do my mascara and eyebrows off camera. I just don't like doing my brows on camera. I've come to that conclusion, but I can't come on camera with them already done because I like to do my brows after I do my foundation because I'm weird. For blush and highlight, I'm gonna use this palette. And I remember really, really loving, especially this highlight more than anything, the peach pearl color right here. And I'm gonna put my blush starting here in the back. I saw Selena Gomez say that that's what her makeup artist taught her and that it like lifts your cheekbones if you just concentrate it here on the back instead of putting it like right here. I don't know if it works, but that's what I'm doing now because Selena Gomez said so. Speaking of Selena Gomez, I desperately want to try Rare Beauty. I know I just said I don't want to buy more makeup, but that is something that I've seen a lot of people review and really, really like, and it is pricey. So I would only get a couple of things. Probably not the foundation, but I definitely want to get the mist. What else? There's something else I wanted to get. Oh, the cream blushes sound really nice. Have you guys tried Rare Beauty? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Tell me. Let a bitch know before she wastes her money. Do you guys feel like powder things expire? I know they do, but I don't feel as weirded out by a powder makeup item expiring as I do a liquid one, like a foundation or something. But as far as powders go, I genuinely don't think these motherfuckers expire. I could be wrong. 
I guess we'll find out in a few days when my face breaks out. I'm gonna go do my mascara and my brows and I'll be right back. All right, so I don't know if I explained this before I went off camera, but the reason why I did my mascara and my brows off camera is because I genuinely do not have any expired products. Those are the two categories of products that I just throw, you know, the product away when it's done. If a mascara is dry, I throw it away. And then when a brow product is done, I just throw it away. And then I get a new one. So I don't have any expired products of those. For my lips, I'm gonna be using this lipstick that I used to use all the time. This is Ofer Cosmetics Bel Air Liquid Lipstick. I don't really use liquid lipsticks anymore just because I feel like I'm just really into lip glosses. Maybe that's cause that's like the in thing right now is to use lip glosses. But I still do use liquid lipsticks if I use them, however. I do put a lip gloss on top. Bro, there's a hair on here. Are you kidding me? There's a hair on every single makeup item I own. Disgusting. For gloss, I'm gonna use not only an expired makeup item, but a makeup item that I hated. So I just really haven't touched this. If you can see the separation in the bottle. This is a Jennifer Lopez Inglot collab that she did I wanna say a couple years ago. This is in the color pinky and it expires 12 months after opening. So it's definitely expired. I never used this and there's barely any product in here. But the reason why I remember not liking this is because it's so sticky. No, it's not even that sticky. <laughs> it's a little sticky, but not as much as I remember. Maybe it's because I've been using my Alamad Cosmetics glosses that are super sticky. And so in comparison, this isn't that sticky. I actually like this. This smells pretty horrible. It reminds me of like a lip plumping gloss. I think it's a Too Faced one that smells like chemicals. That's what it kind of smells like. I actually really like that. It's super glossy. Wow, maybe I'll start using that even though it's expired, who cares? To finish off, I'm just gonna put a little bit more of that funky smelling setting spray. Wow, that really does smell like a fart. You gotta go, mama. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a full face almost, a full face of expired makeup. I had fun making it, my skin, however, still to be determined. I did notice when I went to go do my makeup that that foundation does not match my skin at all. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do for my video that I'm about to film. But anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any recommendations on what you wanna see me do next, let me know. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you soon.